Hey guys, Chase with Shinify here, and we just got off a really interesting call with one of our bootcamp members, Jesse. He won our giveaway. We have a weekly giveaway we do in our boot camps, and basically we give away coaching calls, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. And I asked Jesse if he would mind if we recorded it so we could share it with everyone, and he said, that's fine. So I just got done editing the call, put it, put captions on it. And if you want me to keep doing calls like this or posting these types of calls, let me know, respond to the word yes in the comments. I think that this call is gonna help a lot of people because um, Jesse's basically asking what's the best way to get started. And I uh, did an hour phone call with him, explained what I would do if I was in his shoes. And I just think that a lot of people might benefit from this. Um, also, if you're not in the boot camp, I recommend you get in. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go and watch the replays, join our classes Tuesdays and Thursdays where we walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to do. You can also enter our giveaways inside the boot camp as well. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to get into the call right now. Uh, the first part of the call, we had a little bit of a um, problem with the reception. So um, the first part's just kind of <laughs> us rambling for a few seconds, but um, then we get into the call and there's a lot of really good stuff in here. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments and um, we'll see you very soon. Well, I'll just hold the phone. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm doing the same thing. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was weird. Like it was like you would talk and then I'd hear you for like a minute or two and then it would be like, you know, it would just kind of like go off. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, that's weird. That's weird. It sounds, sounds yeah. a little bit better now. Yeah, cool. Um, so you were so you were starting out at customer support, and then you went to um, yeah, kind of like uh, design and like, marketing? Uh, yeah, kind of like marketing design, and then um, did that for a while. Ended up back in uh, well, in, in some product time, too. I re-ran some, like, I would build some prototyping type kind of things. So basically, like, <laughs> working with the the CEO and he had some ideas he wanted to like be able to see it so I built some stuff in WordPress um, that was product related so it's kind of like a non-development prototype so you could like right. look at it and wave his arms around about it and show it to people and like let's try this and then so we did a lot of things where they worked initially and then once they could see them sort of working then they'd actually go build them in product um, so yeah I've done a, I did all kinds of stuff for them uh, which was great and um, yeah now I'm yeah, kind of looking at the next what the next thing is, and um, all the while I kind of dabbled a bit in like the world of online marketing and um, trying to get my own thing going, but with working full time and it never really uh, it never really worked <laughs> to actually get right. that to generate any significant income. You know, it requires quite a bit of uh, you know brain power and time. So um yeah so now i'm in a spot where i'd love you know i actually have the time but i'm like oh man this is still like you know like it's been three months the next three months working on something and i kind of have nothing so i'm like right what am i going to do here so i you know i'd love to so, pursue the my, my yeah go ahead so let me just recap so so you were working there for like you said like 12 years or 14 yeah. years and 12 years yeah. they were like hey inflation's getting crazy we gotta let you go Something like that, probably. And yeah, then, kinda, yeah. And and now you're you're you were like, okay, well, I got to go on YouTube and start figuring something out. So you, I, I'm guessing you looked up something like AI, just because it's probably the most profitable thing out there right now, most trendy thing. And then you found us, and then you were like, hey, I'm gonna join the boot camp. How'd that how'd that work out? Uh, yeah. So I, you know, I'd actually been on your list for a while. I. I checked out Shine Ranker like a while ago. Um, oh, okay. And, so SEO stuff and, then. Um, yeah, I've been in. I've done some a little bit of SEO stuff, and I think how I got introduced to you, I don't know, it might have been like Paul James or somebody. I went on his oh, list for a long time, and so that was a while ago. And then I, I came back, and then yeah, and then recently when I got re, I guess inspired by your stuff, you started. You were it's when you were going live like every day there for a while. Right. <laughs> I was, like, checking checking <laughs> that out and. I was checking that out and, you know, I really, you know, appreciated your, what you were doing on those live shows and your transparency and just like, Hey, this is what we're doing. This is what's working. And I was like, well, that's pretty sweet. Like it looks like it's, you know, pretty genuine right. and actually working. So then I, you know, I joined the boot camp and it seems like, well, this doesn't look, you know, that hard. It, it doesn't involve like too many moving pieces. It doesn't look like I don't have to go and necessarily like 
do sales, I could set up a system and get it going and, you know, kind of go from there. So that was Got it. kind of yeah, what, what led me in there. Yeah. Got it. So kind of starting out with SEO stuff and then kind of more now transitioning to like, okay, well, how do we do these AI videos and start setting up yeah. a system for that? Yeah. Yeah. I done some dabbled in some local SEO stuff and, you know, it kind of works, but like actually trying to get clients and get them on the phone and close them is not my favorite thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. especially not really great at sales. So I'm mean, like, mm-hmm. you know, so, but on the end, I mean, yeah. So, right. So yeah. much easier to have the robots do it, do it for you. Right. I mean, I mean, that's the dream, right? I mean, that'd be right. nice, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's that's there's challenges. I mean, you've been done. I mean, there's tons of challenges in there as well. Right. Um, right. I'm looking at it's taking it. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I don't have a ton of time either. So I'm like, okay, can I keep this thing going? And maybe I actually need to get a part time job or something here in the meantime. I, I don't know. Right. I'd love to hammer it and have it work within like the next little while, but I don't know how realistic that is. So yeah, it's kind of well, it's kind of where I'm at. I'm like yeah. Okay, so I feel like I understand where you're coming from now. Um, I, okay. So first of all, to that question, let me address that question. Cause I think that's one of the most important ones. Um, yeah. should you do something part-time while you're scaling this? I think, well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever done like freelancing or like had your own clients or are you kind of just coming from the world of like working for corporate and now you're kind of like, okay, well, what do I do now? Um, yeah, I've had some, I've done some like websites and done a few things for friends, but like never like full on like freelancing through a site or like gotten well i had one cold client once but that didn't work out so right. a little bit i guess of experience doing doing stuff for folks but not not a lot yeah and what is your experience on like teaching like do you know how to do mm-hmm. um videos or any of that kind of stuff yet like yeah. lo- like like yeah. long form content yeah, I've done a bit of that. I did this was a while ago, but I did do some uh, videos, you know, for the company I worked with, like early on when we had no support team. I made some videos, like how to videos. So I'm used right. Camtasia and did did that kind of stuff. I can yeah, I can figure that I can figure that stuff kind of stuff out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well and so here's what I'm gonna say, because I was actually in your position um not too long ago. I was working for a company um, doing their websites and their SEO and working, they were more an agency and I was doing work for their clients. And, um, I only had about, I think I was like, it's like six or seven grand in my bank at the time. And it was enough to live off of for a few months where I was living in California. And, uh, they told me, they said, you know, you got to, all the sites you're working on yourself, like you got to make it a part of our company. Cause we don't like that you're, you know, while I was there, I was kind of building my own stuff, kind of like a, a security blanket. Yeah, yeah. And they said to me, like, look, we got to let you go or you got to give us these sites or, you know, make us a partner. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I left and um, I took, some, like, some of the money and I, you know, I uh, paid rent um, and I lived in a garage for a little while. And what I did is I started trying to get my own clients because – the thing is, is that if I'll be completely honest with you, like the the easiest way to get clients is by doing is by showing your skills, and and the easiest way to show your skills is by doing some sort of video. Um, mm. And the easiest way to make money, if you're like I always say, I don't want to say, oh, the easiest way because it's like all of our videos, but but <laughs> truly, truly, truly the easiest way. Like I'm not, I'm, this isn't like a hype thing. It, yeah. if, if you don't have um, revenue coming in, and so I don't know if it's necessary. Okay, I'm not going to say it's the easiest. It's the fastest way. The fastest way to make money is by selling your time because you only have so much mm-hmm. of it. It's a finite resource, right? And if you wanted to start bringing in revenue very quickly, you only need a couple clients to do that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I remember I was in the garage and I was – down to like I started doing videos in my in the garage brand new YouTube channel I was getting like 100 views a video barely that maybe like 50 and I I was down to like two I was like maybe like one or two months left and I was starting to like figure out okay well what am I going to do because I don't have any money like left 
And Mm -hmm. I remember somebody reached out to me and they said, Hey, I want, you know, I want your help. And that was my first client that I got for like, it was, I think it was at the time it was like $1,500 a month, but it was enough for me to pay rent. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I went down sort of similar route as you in terms of like having um, a job with a company and then leaving and then, mm. then doing videos and getting clients. And so what I, yeah. what I would say is like, but I, but I also, I could have gotten more clients faster if I would have known a few things. And one of those things is like, if you really wanted to start getting clients, I would start latching on to some sort of community because so for example, our community, Shineify, right? AI videos. Yeah. If you, yeah. I don't know if you saw recently, but um, we posted a video about a guy that used Shineify and he got like 200 leads in his first day or something, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. did you see that? Um, I didn't watch that whole video. I did. I did right. just watch your live stream from yesterday. Right. Though. Oh, I got yeah, caught yeah. up on that, so I, I, I kind of got the, the gist. Well, I yeah. And I mentioned it in that video. It doesn't matter that you watch the video. What matters, though, is that is the chain of events, which is that he made a video talking about how he was successful with our thing. We shared it because we want to have the publicity that we do good things. But then he gets all the traffic, right? right? And so the point here, and this is what I wish I would have done earlier to get clients, because I was just doing videos like, here's how you do SEO. Here's how you build a website, right? Like I didn't have any, like any sort of leverage or traction. And so if you want traction and leverage really quickly and you want to start getting clients, one of the ways you could do that is you could start doing videos showing people how to become successful with whatever. And it doesn't have to be financially successful. It could be, here's how you go and make your first AI video or here. And I know that's a little bit hard because our, tool, our tools haven't problems right now, but <laughs> But you can, yeah. <laughs> but but the yeah. point I'm trying to make here is like, to take something that you can leverage, that you can you can ride, a trend with, and and I see so many people do this. Like some of my my best friends that I talk to almost daily. I have this one friend who's making freaking two hundred thousand dollars a month with uh, Go High Level, which is a mm. you, yeah. if you know it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a. Yeah, I know what it, I know what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a CRM for SEO and that kind of thing. Yeah. But the dude's making so much money, not just because he's promoting the tool, but because he's, help, he's leveraging that community, right? He's, he's mm-hmm. found a niche that a lot of people are interested in, and he's kind of inserted himself into it, right? And so, for example, you could, let's say, make a checklist or something on – and I've done this before. When, um, when this one tool, Jasper, came out, which was like the first AI writing tool before all these chat mm-hmm. GPT tools came out um, – I made a checklist on it and I shared it in their community and I, and I, I got all these people reaching out to me because they're like, Hey, I want this checklist. I want, you know, I want your help with this and that. And, and the idea is like you want to kind of like put yourself in some sort of trend or some sort of community and start teaching, start becoming like the quote unquote ex. You don't have to be an expert, but you just, mm-hmm. you just have to know a little bit more than the beginner and start teaching about it. Right. Like that guy um, that got the leads with the shine and five videos, I mean, he said to his brother, oh, I don't, I'm not an expert. I, why would I teach this? And, and the truth is, like, nobody's an expert, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that would be, like, what I would recommend starting out is, like, I would start finding a way to demo your experience, and I would start trying to find clients, like, because you only need a couple clients to keep your boat afloat while you start going and doing these other things. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes it does make sense. Um, I get, yeah, being able to get a couple clients. Um, and, and the AI videos too will get you clients if you start getting enough traction. So like if you start right. getting a page that's getting views and you start doing like, here's the top five websites or whatever your videos are, you could start yeah. mentioning, Hey, this website will give you a free audit of your marketing or something like that. And then you'll get all these people entering in their info to get the free whatever and then you just start reaching out to them and you go, Hey, do you have a second to talk? And then now you're getting all these people that are interested in your mm-hmm. services. Right. I mean, I guess it's like SEO service or website service or whatever it is. Yeah. And it could be anything like it doesn't have to be AI or like all that matters is you take something, you know, and then you figure out what's trending around it. Right. So like, let's say you're really good at WordPress or like, let's say you're really good at, I don't know, local or something. Right. Mm-hmm. 
you just figure out, okay, well, what's trending around that? Like what's a really trending, like high trending um, WordPress plugin that's going off right yeah. now. And then, and then you could start taking, I'll give you an example. Like, so that the new Sora technology is coming out soon from ChatGBT. Well, they say it is, um, but yeah. it's not even out. Right. And a lot of yeah. people are like, how do I get access to this thing? How do I use it? There's no answers yeah. for it. And so we just started uh, targeting that trend because we knew a bunch of people would search for it, but we literally in the video say, Hey, by the way, you can't get this, but you can get this. Yeah. And yeah, I did. like no, you could yeah. do stuff like that where you're basically just like taking something that's trending that people are looking up and saying, Hey, theoretically, this is how this would work. But in reality, you're not going to get it yet. So let me show you the next best, best option. And then, and then you position your products or whatever your thing is as the solution, mm. which ideally would be a service, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I would yeah, 100% yeah. say for you, because of the position you're in right now, that I would, the AI videos are great, but they're a long-term strategy. They're not like mm -hmm. you start posting videos and then the next, the only reason why this guy got so many views over the next day and so many leads is because he had a Facebook account that already had a bunch of likes on it. And so right. yeah. until yeah, you yeah. get accounts that are warmed up, it's going to be very hard to get traction and it would be really I think good to get a few people paying you for services every single month. So you have that security while you're trying to build up like this automated sort of system that takes a little while to kind of get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I was starting to think too. It makes, it makes sense. Yeah. I, I do like this would be clients. I don't have to go back to a job. I don't, I don't particularly <laughs> like, so. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just, yeah. So I just need to, yeah, honing on what I guess what my what I want to do for a service, like to think through that a little bit, or what um, yeah, I guess go trend hunting a little bit. Maybe I'll get inspired. But um, well, yeah. hopefully your Shinify account gets fixed soon. Um, which, by the way, I, I, I'll be honest with you, like I, I already know all there's all these bugs with the tool. Like we spend tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. every single month trying to get them fixed. I don't know why there's so many, but it, I think it's just part of building an app as complex as ours is like, it's not like it just doesn't want to work all the time. Um, but uh, first of all, uh, or secondly, if, if you, if you aren't able to get in, we'll fix it for sure. But, but also if you end up spending credits or money or anything, we're happy to discount or not discount, uh, give you free credits and free, you know, time on the tool. Like yeah. I say, I say it to my team all the time. Look, if they're not, if it's not working for our users, just give them free, like give them free credits, give them a free month or whatever and, right. and compensate them for it. Um, so yeah. Um, but one of the things I could recommend to you is like, if you do end up getting these videos going for yourself, like I think, okay. So part of it is you want to put a certain level of weight on what you do. And I think this is a big mistake that people often that they don't do right. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing I see people do all the time. Oh, I'm not an expert. Oh, I can't teach this. I've never had any success. I've never made any money or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have this or that result to be qualified. And so yeah. like, I think everybody's looking for permission to mm -hmm. like be an expert or something. When in reality, like the people that I know that are like the most successful most of them are not that much smarter than you and I. The difference is that they just did a lot more action and a lot less talking yeah. about it, right? And right. so what I was going to say is, like, you could start doing, you know, hey, here's how you make 30 AI videos in 10 seconds or something or, like, you know, 10 minutes or something like that. Um, and you could start posting, sharing those types of videos in the community and you get a lot of people going, oh, my God, I've never been able to make videos or Shinify isn't working for me. How do I, how do I contact you, right? <laughs> um, you could yeah. take advantage of the fact that the tool doesn't work, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but my point is that, like, there's a lot of, like, 90% of people don't even get started, right? And so mm -hmm. while you're probably sitting there and going, well, what do I make videos on? What do I sell a service on? In reality – like if you think about it, 90% of people don't even get started. And so if you could just say, Hey, here's how you do something. Here's how you just do one thing, something simple. Like here's how you make an AI video or something like that. 
and if you look at our videos, like our videos personally, like the ones we make, very, very like beginner. Like it's like very like, look, here's how you make an AI video with ChatGPT, right? And then mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. So yeah. don't, I guess what I'm saying is like, don't overthink doing something because the things that are the most simple are the things that are the, like the things that you should sell. You, like most people try to create this really complex product where it's like, let me add in all these bells and whistles and like, I'm going to do this for you. And then I'm going to do 20 weeks of content. And then I'm going to do this. It's like, no, make something really simple. Like I'll do 30 AI videos for you. And you'd be right. surprised how many people want that because even though it's easy for you or easy for, you know, whoever's doing them, a lot of people just don't even want to do anything. Like 90% of people want to do nothing. And so <laughs> you want to target those people. Yeah. And so where do you go, like, you know, use, like, leverage community, like, go and, like, find, like, groups that you can, or, like, existing communities that you can then, like, post into, or, like, how did, how did that part work? Well, you want to think, okay, so another thing that you want to do is you want to remove yourself from your own, like, standpoint, right? Because right now you're thinking, like, how do I mm -hmm. go and post mm -hmm. content so I can get leads to sell a service? Think right. about it this way. How can I create content that other people who have a community or a, or a product would want to share. So like, for example, how could I create a video for Shinify that that company would want to share because it makes them look really good and they wouldn't really care about me, you know, promoting my own service because the, the video that I make is so good that, you know, they're going to, and so what it comes down to is like you being good at reviewing things, right? So, yeah. for example, you know, if you took high level, I'm, I'm not going to talk about Shinify, I'm just going to say high level. If you took high level, yeah. you're like, wow, look at this. I made this AI automated funnel in 10 minutes, and it allows you to auto respond to like hundreds of people with ChatGPT. And I'm going to give you the free template, and I'm going to tell you how great high level is. High level is going to be like, oh, cool, yeah, share that. And they're not going to really care if you say, by the way, contact me if you need any help with high level. Right. Because you're an advocate right. of their brand, right? Especially yeah. if you're an affiliate too. So ideally you want to find like companies that have good mm -hmm. affiliates because what you can do is you can make money not only selling the service, but also if people aren't even on the platform yet, you can give them your affiliate, right? So like for example, yeah. with high level, you could have a $300 high level setup service for somebody but then on top of it, you could say, by the way, you have to use my affiliate link and get like the, the maximum plan, which is $200 a month. And then you get like a 40% reoccurring on that too. Right. So you can do like a combo of affiliate and services. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but again, to answer the question, like you want to take it away from your problem and position it as the problem that you're solving for the community that you're going to be trying to get into right because you're trying you're basically trying to hijack somebody else's community but if right. you make them look really good they won't care right like that guy right. who did the videos on shinify and he's like hey i got this many leads i don't care if the guy's promoting a service all i know is that i make a video and now i have all these people they're like oh my god shinify works right yeah when, when yeah. it works <laughs> yeah when it works yeah <laughs> It looks like they might have fixed it. They all my all my video failed videos are gone, and my, oh, nice. my credits have been re re um or credited back to me. So I'll have to go and try it after this call here. Nice. It looks like I might be back in business here. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. But I I do think like the question you asked in the beginning is the most important question, which is like, what do I do? You know, like, do mm -hmm. I do the AI videos? Do I do services like do I go work a nine to five for like part time and I think there isn't really necessarily a wrong answer I think no matter what if you put in the time you're going to get to where you want to go because it's really just like time in to the yeah. problem and the more time you spend you're just going to naturally start to figure it out it's just it's just how many times you're going to run into a wall that's the question um, yeah. but as far as probably the quickest way out of the problem I would say you want to do two things. You want to start selling some sort of service, some sort of simple service that's easy to fulfill, right? Like, hey, I'll go and do videos for you or I'll build you a WordPress website or something just simple 
don't make mm-hmm. it like 500 different things. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. And then what I would do, because you don't have to, like people will buy simple things. Like you don't have to make it crazy. Um, and then I would start figuring out how you can start demoing your experience, right? Like you want to think about doing videos, like long form videos, as kind of like, you know how they have those conventions with the ShamWow people where they're like, they're like, you can, you can uh, wash your boat, you can wash your car, right? Like you can, you can wash your dishes with this, like, or like the OxyClean guy, you know, yeah. Billy, Billy Mays. So when you're doing long form, that's essentially what you're doing, right? Because mm. you're getting these people and ideally you want to target some sort of community or some sort of trend that you can like leech off of. And so you can post your content somewhere. So let's say it's like high level and you want to identify it like whatever, like whatever people are looking up. Okay. A lot of people are interested in high level. Let's say that. And then you want to show like 20 different ways to be successful with that thing. And success again, doesn't have to be financial. It could be like, I figured out how to do this funnel. I figured out how to create a local website. I created, I figured how to do this because the biggest thing that's going to happen is when people watch long form, they're going to do the same thing every time. They're going to go, well, it doesn't work for this. It doesn't work for that. It doesn't. And that's why those commercials do that where they're like, you can use it on your boat. You can use it. Cause like, they're going to say that they're going to be like, well, I can't use it on my boat. And then you show them <laughs> and you can have the exact same video because 90%, like I was saying earlier, 90% of the people that are watching your stuff that are following you, that are buying from you are new people. If you look at your analytics, you look at like, all your traffic, it's going to be brand new people because most people just look at something and then they give up and they never come back. Right. And so you could essentially have the exact same pitch every single time. But the idea is that you start getting consistent at pitching it. And mm. I really think it's something that you can't not do because it's got to be either you or somebody else, right? Like for me, I hire people to make the long forms. Now they do the ShamWow commercials for me. And I'll still go on there and do lives every now and then. But like most of the time it's other people doing those ShamWow commercials. And the reason why is because if we didn't do that, we would not make nearly as many sales because people need to see that you're a real person and they need to see that what you're talking about isn't just like, Oh, I, you know, I got this many leads. Here's a picture. Like they want to see, they want like, like even you, you bought through the live stream. And there's yeah. something about doing long form that if you don't do it, you're going to greatly reduce your chances of, of selling things to people. And so I would just say like one of the biggest things that you could learn or, or start doing as a skill would be to just start doing like simple how to videos, because you're going to position yourself as the, as the teacher, not necessarily the expert, but you're going to say, here's how to do this. Here's how to do that. And now all of a sudden people are going to go, Hey, can I hire you to do this thing since you know how to do it? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, sorry if I'm like, if I'm, I, I know you said you had to leave at like 12 or something. I'm just trying to give no. you as much as I can. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I got, I got, it's not a hard, I don't have a hard stop at, um, at noon, so we're, we're, it's all good. Um, Is this helpful though? Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah, I think yeah, I think so. I mean, it's making sense now. I mean, I'm, now my brain's just shifting into okay, like hmm. there's still like so many you know things I could do that for. So I'm like, well, now I got right. you know like pick, <laughs> pick something to start doing. Right. Like I, I get the whole, I get the action thing. Like I really want to like be in, um, be in action. I know that that's what's needed to really I'm gonna start seeing stuff. And I'm, I do have you know I can tend to overthink shit and never, never do anything. I mean. I do but um so now i'm like oh, i just want to like latch on to like okay <laughs> what's the thing i need to do and just do it and not think about it that much so um, um yeah i'm now just trying to think like we're well, now where do I, like now where do i start i can i'd love to keep this video thing going but i can see it's going to take a while so just getting some clients would be yeah great and so i'm yeah, I'm just starting to think about okay, what I, what is that? Is do I go back to my kind of pick up my local SEO thing or actually well, what you're, what you're saying too is like with the long, I haven't yeah, long form video. But the AI, but the AI videos are going to take a while for you, 
right? Yeah, because yeah. you don't have any traction. Just like a high level account and funnel would probably also take a while for you because you mm -hmm. don't have like an established website with traffic right now. And so yeah. the point is anything when you start out is gonna take a while for you. And so, yeah. but, but again, like that's your problem. What the, what the real question is, what is their problem? Because you could find somebody with a thousand followers on their Facebook page or they could find you, right? And mm. you could show them, hey, here's how you make the videos. And they immediately start getting traction and leads, just like if you, you know, if, they, if you found a website with, so mm. what I'm saying here is that um, whether or not it'll work for you is kind of irrelevant. The question is what, what, what can you do that's going to work for somebody else? Right, right. Huh. And you wanna keep flipping the script because again, like, when you're when you're when you're dealing with your own issues all the time, you're constantly thinking about your issues. But mm -hmm. the problem is there's no money in your issues. There's only money in their issues. And the more you can keep flipping the script, every time you go, well, I need to figure out this, right? I don't know what to do content on. Instead of thinking about you, think about okay, well, what do they need? What is like who are they, right? Like the more you can stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about their problems, whoever they are, mm -hmm. right? Like for me, I truly believe that uh, people who start doing AI videos over the next, I don't know, year are going to significantly um, improve the quality of their lives because of the fact that it's so automated. But I also yeah. know that it's a, it's a slower burning uh, process, right? It's not for people that are like, just looking for, you know, a thousand dollars right out the gate. Um, and so, but that's, but the, but the point here is that the reason I teach what I teach is because I believe that the biggest thing that people need help with is this thing. And I constantly think about, okay, well, what can I do to help people more with this thing? Mm. Even though I have thousands of my own problems, like for example, the software breaking 24 seven, right. But like, I try to spend less time thinking about that and more time like, okay, I know the software is breaking. It's out of my control, right? My problems are out of my control for the most part. All I can do is just keep proactively working towards improving the quality of my life. But the way my, the quality of my life improves is by improving the quality of other people's lives. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, money yeah. is just a reflection of the value that you provide for yeah. other people. Yeah, for sure. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's just value, yeah, creating value for, yeah. And for, so I think what it comes down to is, like, what is your belief system? Like, what do you really believe people need help with right now? And who are those people? And, like, can you start obsessing over those people? Like, I was up till, like I told you on the text, like, I was up till mm -hmm. 2 a.m. last night, literally, like, thinking about, okay, well, how can I help the people I'm trying to help? Like, what are their problems? Like, it's this, it, I ask myself that question literally, like, 100 times a day. Who are the people I'm trying to help? What do they need? I literally have a, a, a marker. And when I take a shower, I'll start writing on the walls because it's erasable. Because mm -hmm. like the showers you can write with the expo. And I'll, huh. and I'll literally write out, what do they need help with? Who are they? Like I'll, and, and again, like the more you can figure out, because think about this. If you're in the middle of the desert, it's the best place to sell water, right? Because nobody has it. You can sell water yeah. for 100 times the price. And so the question is, how do you find people with the problem that you're trying to solve? And the only way you can do that is by figuring out who those people are in the first place. That's how you can sell so much more because it's actually very simple to sell things if you know who you're, who you're selling to, right? Like if yeah. I know somebody's in the desert, I can go up to them and I, I can almost guarantee that I can sell water for $100 because they don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. So have, yeah find people with problems. Um, and, and, and what is the problem you think people need solved right now? Like what is the big like right. problem you think there's tons of people with right now? Yeah. That's a good, I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm not off the top of my head. I'm, I'm sure there's tons of them, but off the top of my head, I'm like, yeah, what is like, what is that? And that's also, it's got to have some kind of, you know, interest from, from on my side too. Otherwise it's got to be at least somewhat interesting for me too. Then I, then I can be like, Oh, I, I can help solve that problem. Right. Um, right. Well, it's yeah. got to be something that you like somewhat know about, right? You can't just be like, oh, God, yeah. I'm gonna, everybody needs a mortgage or better interest rates, you know, and then you start 
<laughs> yeah. But I, yeah. ideally yeah. you find so, a trend that's like, that's doing well around something that you're sort of knowledge about, knowledgeable about. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to be an expert because like most of the people that are, are crushing it online, they're just taking a trend. And like, they don't really, like most of the people that I know that are making money with like high level or something random, they don't care about that stuff. The only reason they're doing it is because they know that it's just freaking works. They would yeah. rather be doing something else. But when you get a certain level of success, just by riding a trend, it makes more sense to just ride the trend than it does to like, try to go be an expert in like something that might be slightly more relevant to you because it's a business. Like at the end of the day, it's just numbers. It's just like, yeah. and, and you want to just be good at like removing your own emotions from the situation and going, okay, I know a lot of people are interested in this. I'm going to make a video on it. Okay. Here's, I just got a bunch of leads. They want sales. Okay. That makes sense. And the more you can simplify it and go, I know that that trend's going to take off just by like looking at the numbers and then you just go and replicate it. Like you don't have to be innovative. You just have to be good at finding things like I know a guy, he literally copies everything I do, like word for word, like he's got close to a million followers now. He's like been copying our software for like a couple years now. Guy, like he's just a total leech. Like all he does is just leech off of people. Right. But the point is, is it's, he's very successful at it, right? He doesn't yeah. come up with any new ideas himself. Everything he does, he finds what other people are doing and he just rips them off, right? Um, <laughs> which I think is admirable because at a, at a certain point, it, it means that he's willing to let go of his own ego to do what works. Right. Right. Yeah, just, and, yeah, and just because he's copying. leeching off of, huh? Go ahead. Oh, so he was just, yeah, he's just finding, seeing what works and just basically copying it and putting his own, maybe his own little spin on it or whatever. But. Yeah. And, and just because he's leeching off people doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Everybody kind of does it right. He just does it to mm -hmm. another degree. But my, my point here is that it, he's so consistent and so good at finding trends and just writing them that he's literally made a multi-million dollar business for himself because of it. Um, mm. Even though he doesn't have a single like ounce of innovation in his blood. Um, yeah. And so that's what I would recommend to you is like, why try to go and come up with all these new ideas when you can just find what's already working for somebody else and just model them. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I've been, I've been doing a lot of talking. I apologize, but. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good to hear that. I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm just like thinking my brain. I'm like, okay, like again, what's my next, you know, step from here to start. So, so I'd say step one find something that you think you could stick to for more than a month mm -hmm. and, and something that you think you could create content on for more than a month. If you look at something and you go, I, I could only do that for a week. Don't do it. Right. Because anything that you do, it takes a little bit of time to compound. Like it doesn't matter what it is. It, it, when I started doing SEO videos in the garage, I was telling you about, I didn't, I honestly didn't get any traction for like year, like years. Um, yeah. But I also didn't do what I was telling you. I wasn't really writing trends. I was kind of just doing my own thing. I wasn't like, I wasn't, again, if I were to start over, so step, so step one, find a trend. Step two, I would start trying to figure out how you can hijack it. Like, how can I start getting traffic from that thing? How can I start, mm -hmm. like, getting into communities, like, start interacting with people? The quickest way to start making sales is to insert yourself into a community and just start becoming, like, the community expert, like people will actually, some communities will actually get mad at you for doing this because they'll know what you're doing. But yeah. if you're good enough at doing it and you don't ruin their reputation and you actually help them, they won't care. Right. Right. Um, make them look good. So, yeah. As long as they're yes. looking good and their products are yes. good. Yeah. Why would they care? And as like, long as you're not, and as long as you're not like going in and just hard selling, right? Like you want to just be like, Hey, yeah. by the way, if you guys need help and you'll, you don't have to hard sell to these communities that you'll get so many people coming in that they'll just naturally start messaging you. And then step three, figure out something you can sell around that thing. So you find a trend, let's say it's high level or, or AI video or web design, whatever. You do content on it, like beginner videos. Hey, and you can even say some of my best videos ever made. I, I say in the video, Hey, I'm not an expert at this, but I'm going to show you what I know. 
Mm-hmm. And like those videos do better than anything else because people can relate to you. They go, oh, now I can relate to yeah. Jesse because it's not Chase, like this guy that runs this massive business. I, this mm-hmm. is another beginner. I can, I can actually believe what he's saying. Right. Um, so there's power in being the new person to the block because a lot of people are new, per, new people as well and they'll relate more to you than they will to us. Yeah. Um, that's part of the reason why we share that content in the first place is because we want to show like, hey, look, new people are doing this. Um, but step one, uh, trend, step two, create content, make the, make the, make the community or the brand look good. And then step three, just start talking to people. Like you really want to just start pushing, Hey, send me a message, send me a message, send me a message, send me a message. Mm -hmm. You'll start getting probably 10, 20 messages a day by doing this. And as you start to get these messages, start telling them, Hey, uh, you know, do you want, what would you, what would be. One of the best questions you can ask is what's something I can help you with? And then they'll tell you the answer. And then the the next question you ask is what would that be worth to you? Hmm. And then they're going to tell you what they'd pay for. Right. And then you just start selling services. Right. So I'm just writing some stuff down here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, just gonna start thinking about it a little bit, like what? Yeah, it's my interest, skills, and then community to start. Yeah, start doing some stuff. I think most it's easier. Do, do like post your like start doing videos, like post them to like make a Facebook page, do that, post them on YouTube, like kind of that. Yeah, I would, I would post them on YouTube. And then again, I wouldn't worry about necessarily the platforms as much as I would just providing as like insane value to the brand and the community that you're trying to get into. Right. Right. So like you want to make a video where you're just like, Oh my gosh, this, this tool is so amazing. Anybody who's not paying for this tool right now is a loser. Like, because then the (laughs) the company's going to watch that and be like, Hey, this is great. You know, and then, um, and then in, and then in there, you just keep saying like, Hey, send me a message, by the way, guys, if you want me to help you with this tool or, or with this thing. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. and you, you could do this with like 20 different communities at once, right? Like you could have one video about Shinify and then one about, I don't know, some other tool like radar, like you just want to find, you want to find trends with communities. And it, it, it can, it could be in the form of a Facebook group or a, you know, product or anything, but you want to make sure that there's people in that thing. And right. you want to find something that you think that like, that you're going to be able to get some traction posting about. Right. Um, and the easiest way, by the way, to do that is you can make a testimonial, put it, put it in the group and then see if the people allow it. Right. If they allow it, then chances are they're going to let you do a video. Right. So you could right. go into high level, you go into anything, you know, and go like you could go into WordPress for beginners. Let's say it's a Facebook group with like 200,000 people, right? You could go in there and say, Hey guys, just wanted to sh- show like how much this community has helped me. You know, here's a testimonial of like some graph, you know, this is a WordPress site I designed for my old company. Here's how many v- visits we got. Thank you guys so much for teaching me all this stuff. Boom. That's your video, right? And then second video number, or that's your, that's your picture post. And then, video post, basically the same thing. And what you're doing though, is you're saying you're indirectly promoting yourself because you're saying, Hey, I did all these things that these people told me to do. So it makes them look good, but I'm successful. Look at the results I got that I'm responsible for. Send me a message. Right. So it's basically like indirectly giving yourself a testimonial by giving somebody else a testimonial. Right. Yeah. And then you could do that with like 20 different groups. Like you could just be spending all day, like just scalping these groups. Hmm. But as long as it makes the groups or the products look good, that's all that matters. Because right. again, like yeah. these people are like video testimonials don't happen often. Like people don't like often do video testimonials. So like anytime a, a company mm-hmm. can get a video testimonial and as long as you're not on there, like, Hey, by the way, buy this, buy that. And you're just very like smooth about it. They're not going to care. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's I what I would do. Doing that. I mean, yeah. Just based on your situation, though, like if you were in a different situation, I would probably say something else. But yeah. at your current point, that's what I would do. If you if you had already a few clients and you were doing well, and then you started saying, mm-hmm. "Hey, Chase." I'm making money, but these clients are like driving me nuts. How do I stop doing clients and do more affiliate and create an automated system? Cause that's going to be the question you ask after this one, but yeah. that's not applicable to right now. And so yeah. your, your, your thing right now is just like, okay, how do we, how do we keep the boat afloat? And yeah. that's what I would do. And then once you get the boat afloat, you start having some revenue coming in. Then I start thinking about, okay, how do I start automating more of what I'm doing? So I'm not spending all this time trying to do fulfillment and have clients complaining at me all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, No, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's kind of why I'm like, I didn't really initially, well, I didn't want to do a bunch of clients because that's a major pain in the ass, but um, I see definitely the value of it initially because I do need, I mean, need to do either clients or, you know, a job to get, you know, to cover my expenses. So yeah, the boat stays floating. Exactly. And then, uh, you know, I build a system that's more automated long term. Well and you're always and you're always yeah. gonna have clients, it's just how involved are you gonna be, right? Right. Because yeah. whether you're doing like software or affiliate or courses or any of that, like you still have clients. It's just a different mm-hmm. type of client. Right. Um and the most annoying type of client you can have is services. But it's also the quickest yeah. way to make money. So it just right. it just depends on what you want. And mm-hmm. I would say that at least getting clients you're not like showing up and building somebody else's business because like that's mm-hmm. the worst. You know, you're, you're showing up to work every day and you're like, Hey, how can I build your business for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. How can I trade my time for money where in reality you want your money to like make you more money, right? Like you want to be an investor and you want to spend a yeah. hundred dollars and make $500. Um, yeah. but you can't get to that point until you start having the cash flow. And then when you have the cash flow, then you can start figuring out, okay, how do I delegate what I'm doing to other people? Yeah. Right. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, I don't know if that helps at all, but. Yeah, no, I think it'd be good. Um, be cool. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good. It'd be cool, Dave. If you could send this music recording, too, of this, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I Hopefully it recorded. I've never really recorded a phone call before. It's usually, like, I just got an app for it, so I'm, like, hoping it, it goes through. I'll send it over to you. And then, okay. um, do you mind if I, like, uh, posted if the call comes out well, do you mind if I posted this in the group just so, uh, or in the, in the course, just so people could, other people could benefit from it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, know, cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, do you have anything else yeah, that you man. want my um, input on? No, I don't, uh, I don't think so. I think I got to wrap my head around like, yeah, switching gears here a little bit, and um, yeah, focus on getting some, yeah, doing getting a client or two, and just keeping the boat afloat, and then then also keep rocking the. Well, yeah, <laughs> focus on getting some short term money, so I can uh, so I can focus on the the long term thing. Um, right. But and, yeah, no, and I can I, I yeah. and can I add one more thing? Is it just I would say like don't. Don't question if, just question when, because mm. it is possible for you to do this. I'm telling you, like, you can become very successful doing your own thing, doing, like, uh, you know, you could end up having an, an automated system and a business with employees and all these things. It's just mm-hmm. time. It's not if. And so yeah. don't give up because if you give up, don't give up because you think, oh, it's not possible. You give up because it's too hard. Um but, um, and I'm not saying give up at all because I want you to keep going. Yeah. Um, but I am saying like, it's not about whether or not it's possible. It's about, it just is, if, if it was easy, everybody would be at the top. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So just, yes. I guess what I would say is like, focus more on just becoming a little bit better and and don't worry about whether or not it'll happen because it will if you just keep doing it. Mhm. Yeah. 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 I believe. I believe it. Yeah. Just sticking with it for long enough. Yep. Yeah. Right on, Jesse. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm, cool, man. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm rooting for you. Thanks, man. 
Thanks, Stacey. I appreciate it. It's been great to uh, yeah, it's great to meet you. Great to chat. You know, I watched a lot of your videos now, so it's been <laughs> great to have have a bit of time and actually connect. And uh, yeah, it's making sense. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep keep trucking, and I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to you know, yeah, posting and letting you know how how I'm doing. Or, um, yeah, I can't wait to see some yeah. videos from you. Yeah. If you end up yeah. doing them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do, I mean, I'll do something. It could be even, I mean, it could be even, i just start with the Shineify video because that's something I'm sort of at least somewhat into at the moment. So, and yeah, I've got some ideas about some other stuff. I have a bunch of skills like for, yeah, web-related stuff and marketing and WordPress stuff. So it can't be that hard to to think about some of these, some of these problems and just kind of and, and by the And by the way, if something isn't working, so for example, let me give you just one last example and then I'll stop talking. Sora, yeah. Sora doesn't work, right? There's no way to get access to it. Literally, there's no release date. There's literally no reason for me to talk about it because like from a logical <laughs> standpoint, how am I supposed to show something that doesn't currently work, right? And so for your example of Shineify, it's like, okay, well, I want to get started, but the videos aren't working. Okay, but are the videos working for somebody else? Yes. And so mm -hmm. the point is you can still show people how to do things without doing them yourself, right? Like for mm -hmm. me, I can go, hey, here's how Sora would potentially work. And then I show all this stuff about like my theory and like what I'm saying is that you, if you want to be good at, at doing things and getting content out and, and not having blockers, right, come up with good ways to basically just BS your way through it. And what I mean by that is like you can do a video on Shineify. Just show how Shineify works. Show them a demo video. Show, and, then, and then go show every other part right? Because Shineify is just right. one part of the equation. You still have to do the scheduling. You still have to yeah. do mini chat. You still have to do prompting. You still have to, like you, you could have a 10 hour video about Shineify and only five minutes is about Shineify and the rest is about the rest of the process. Right. Yeah. Right. And so yeah. all I'm saying is that don't, don't mm -hmm. talk yourself out of doing something just because one part of the problem isn't working. Like with right. Sora, I could say, Oh, I'm just going to wait for the thing to come out. No, why? You're losing out on a trend that a lot right. of people are looking for because you're saying, well, I have to wait. And that's just an excuse to not do something. When in reality, you could say, hey, I don't have access to this thing right now, but I'm going to show you how it works. And I'm going to show you how you would go and do everything else you would need in order to make this thing successful or work or whatever. And you can show the precursors or the things that you do after, right? Like you could say, hey, by the way, this is a Shineify tutorial, but I'm just going to be covering prompting today. I'm just going to show you how to use ChatGPT. And so it's still a Shineify video, but it's just talking about the precursors or the things that you would do after, if that makes sense. Right. No, no, it does make sense. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, there's so many different parts to the process that, I mean, for people that probably don't even <laughs> looking at it, they would never realize. I mean, the, that's the thing. It's your, I mean, like, the devil's, like, always in the details. That's well, often and, the thing I see see first is, like, I see something, I'm like, okay, that looks easy, but I know that there's, like, ten other things right. that are actually, you know, hard in that process, right? especially if you've never done it before, right? So, Right. Yeah. You, could, you could also show them, hey, here's how you would manually do one of these videos. Here's how to use ChatGPT and then CapCut and all these things. And then at the end, you could be like, oh, or you can use Shineify. Go check it out over here. And then you can just tell them how it works. You don't have to show them. The, like, all I'm saying is there's so many different parts of the mm -hmm. storyline. And often you want to take advantage of the, of the fact that things don't work, right? Like Sora doesn't work. So all these people are looking up how to get it because it doesn't, they, mm -hmm. there's no way to get it. And so you want to take the problem and position that you know the solution to the thing. And that's why I was saying earlier, yeah. like you, instead of like, instead of waiting to do whatever you're trying to do on the trend, go and create the solution to it, even if it's not even the actual thing. Like when we say, hey, right. Sora doesn't exist, go use Shineify. We do slideshows with images. It has nothing to do with Sora. But what we say <laughs> is it's the next best option, right? So let's say there's all these people right. that aren't able to use Shineify for whatever reason because the tool has bugs. You could say, hey, there's a lot of people that have problems with the tool because it has bugs. Let me show you how to do the same thing manually so you can start practicing and then boom, you're still doing a video, but you're, you're helping all of the people that have the same problem as you. And so remember, instead of thinking about your problems, think about their problems. Who are they? Right. What do they need help with? And how do you fix it? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 
to be even for the people who are like, oh, I don't want to pay for something. I mean, there's always there's a manual way to do it, right? If you just show them, hey, just right. do this, this, and this. It's going to take you 10 times as long, but you can still do it. <laughs> so <can> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. It's been All good. Right. Good luck to right. think about. Yeah. Appreciate your time, Chase. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you around in the the Discord or whatever. And yeah. Right on, Jeff. Do I appreciate you? Thanks, Ben. All right. We'll talk to you later. Awesome. Take care. Bye. Bye.